You follow the Kardashians and I follow SpaceX launch updates? <laughs> We're not the same. Yeah, I know I shouldn't laugh, but that's so hilarious. You know, like everybody likes what they like and you can like whatever you want to like. But I get the feeling that it's sort of a dig on the other person. You know, like I'm better than you because I watch SpaceX videos. <laughs> I'm not like like somebody who watches a Kardashian video, I'm a way smarter. You know, like once again, they may not mean that, but it sort of gives off that sort of vibe. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, but it's hilarious, okay? We're not the same. I watch rocket ship videos. <laughs> Not to like the other girls, the subreddit where people are basically like, I'm better than you and we are not the same. Don't even consider for a second that we might be the same. I'm a far superior to you <laughs> and don't get it twisted. And yeah, I'm excited. It's super late at night right now. And for some reason, I felt like making this video. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I'm turning nocturnal or something, but something is changing. Vinci is losing his mind. <laughs> but yeah, on this beautiful night, let's read some Not Like The Other Girls. Enjoy, guys. I play video games, quite memes, have an extensive collection of Pokemon cards. <laughs> oh my god, it's me. Literally, look at this. I think I did this in the last video, but I need to show you guys. These are literally sitting... There's one more. Literally sitting just in front of me. <laughs> you may even say I have an extensive collection of Pokemon cards. <laughs> Sorry, I'm um, back to the video. And I'm not a cartoon. I'm an internet female. <laughs> What? <laughs> is that actually what that says? I am the 1%. You know, like this is obviously really old and therefore cringe. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people have gone through a phase like this. But yeah, I am an internet female. <laughs> For some reason, that comes off so funny. But yeah, I can pretty much relate to this. <laughs> I quote memes, I like Pokemon cards, I play video games, I'm not a cartoon, but I'm also not an internet female. And also, I don't know what the 1% is. So 1% of the population plays video games, quotes memes, and has an extensive collection of Pokemon cards. I think that's a little bit more common than a 1%. You're in her DMs? I'm in my freaking PJs. <laughs> I'm so very sleepy. It's my bedtime. Nighty night. <laughs> no, sorry. Nighty night time and they have a bedspread that says bedtime. Wow, that's so funny. I love the ones that are completely a joke. You're in her DMs? I'm up a reading a funny Reddit video. We are not the same. Most of bisexual women have only been with one or two women. I've been with about 20 women and 16 men. The top comment says collecting exes are like Pokemon cards. Oh look, I got a shiny nice guy. <laughs> that is so funny. Also, why are there so many Pokemon references lately? It's like when you buy a new car and then you see the same car everywhere else. <laughs> like, what do you mean? What? You're not like other bisexual women because you've slept with 20 women and 16 men? I don't really know what point they're trying to make. You know, like, oh, I'm more bisexual than you are because I've slept with a more people. I think that's what they're trying to say. That's a pretty confusing. Girls who think they are eight are fives. I'm self-aware of my six and a half or seven and a half status as I've bluntly asked every male friend in my life to rate me and this was the consensus. My lowest was a six and my highest was an eight. I would still literally put myself at 6.5 or seven truthfully. Self-aware 
billionaires. Girls who think that their tens are usually tens, but they know it and are awful on the inside. Unless you get the rare exception, and my advice is to trap her. Hee <laughs> hee. Girls who think their nines are always solid 7.5s. I will not elaborate. Girls who think that they're a 4 or a 5 are usually that. Yeah, but what are you talking about? <laughs> and what does this have to do with anything? Why are you thinking about yourself as a number out of 10? Is it just me or is that so weird? Like you're not walking around and thinking I'm a 7 out of 10. What? <laughs> like on what scale are you talking about? Just how you look or how you are as a person? Like how compassionate you are? What sort of a person you are? If you're a good person or a bad person? Your morals? Your ethics? Like what do you mean? And also like asking other people to tell you what you are out of 10 is sort of icky as well. You're a human being. You're not a number out of 10. Oh, TikTok taught me. Yeah, and my curious ass as a kid, education and common knowledge taught me. We are not the same. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with learning something from TikTok though. But okay, go off. When did I say it was a problem? <laughs> you kind of just did. All I said was I'm not like everyone else. But okay, get butthurt over it because you didn't understand what I said. You know, like, I don't want to say it because I feel bad. But there are so many spelling mistakes when you're talking about education. You know, like, that really doesn't mean that you're not smart, obviously. But it's still sort of funny at the same time. I say it in, like, every single Not Like The Other Girls video because I feel like in these subreddits particularly, it sort of comes off like we're picking on people, but I promise I'm not trying to do that. This is all completely lighthearted. No, I don't fit the clean girl aesthetic. I drink four Red Bulls a day. I put on deodorant and body spray and call it a shower. I'm living in filth and I drive a car with no headliner and record airbags. In brackets, that one is getting fixed. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Safety first. I sleep four hours a night and most of the time it's not even at my place. And I vapor like my life depends on it. And it says this is not a flex. Well, the top comment says I think this is just a cry for help. Yeah. Actually, now that you say that, I hope you're okay. But yeah, it kind of does seem a little bit like that. You know, like my car's unsafe. I don't sleep. I drink way too much Red Bull. And I vapor like my life depends on it. And yeah, for it to say this is not a flex. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. There are two kinds of girls in this world. So ones that don't carry wheels and ones that do. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that that was the defining difference between women. Are you a wheel carrying woman or a non wheel carrying woman? I'm old school. I can't TikTok. I can't Snapchat. I don't know anyone named Stan. And I think that BTS is a kind of digestive disease. <laughs> but I can write it. Oh my God, why does this happen? I can write in cursive. I know I've said this before, but you know how many times I've needed to write in cursive? Zero. <laughs> I can do math without an app. I can dance and sing and love and I can be me. Like, yeah, fine. That's okay. But, you know, you don't need to put other people down. Maybe somebody else's version of that does include TikTok and Snapchat and BTS. And not writing in cursive. <laughs> and using a calculator. Like, can't we all just get along? <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. I'm more of a when... Oh my god, it's always the same person. Wednesday Adams. I'm more of a Wednesday Adams type of girl, not a patriotic plastic Barbie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Did anybody ask? <laughs> Sorry, that sounds rude, but at the same time, yeah, you know, okay. <laughs> I don't know why this is a post. I'm different than other people. People? Whoa, <laughs> no way. What are you trying to say? People have different personalities and interests? Nah, <laughs> I can't believe it. Not all women want diamonds. Some women just want to jump out of 
airplanes and ride motorcycles. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this. <laughs> like, hey, I like something different and you don't. That's totally fine. Your shirt says a pink. Mine says a pink Floyd. We are not the same. <laughs> yeah, okay, this one's funny. I'm not somebody just like you, a typical boring person. I listen to bands. <laughs> Other girls, I'm a delicate flower. Me, I'm the claw end of a hammer. Yeah, we've read this one before and I still don't really know what it means. Like you're not delicate, you're strong and made of metal and sharp and would hurt if you dropped it on your toes. There's a comment that says, I thought it said I'm the claw end of a hamster. Yeah, that's a way better. Veteran, assuming I was like most women, is your first mistake. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very badass. <laughs> Other girls, some days I just forget to eat all day. Me, some days I just eat all day. Yeah, that's relatable though. 100%. We've all been there. You know, like I don't think they're trying to say I'm different because I eat food. It's just meant to be like a relatable post, isn't it? Women only want one thing and it's iced coffee. Um, I hate coffee and I prefer weed and ding dong, but that's just me. Ma'am, we are an iced coffee sleeve. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so what? That's like a company on Twitter. You might even say I'm not interested in your product because I prefer weed and ding dong. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was necessary, wasn't it? <laughs> Sabrina Carpenter had chicken fingers for breakfast. Sabrina Carpenter is not your typical 22-year-old. She's a cool 22-year-old with a low-key 26 million followers. Yeah, okay, but did they write an article about somebody having chicken fingers for breakfast? Bro, <laughs> are you joking? That can't be what the article's about. And also, is that the thing that makes Sabrina Carpenter cool? Because they eat chicken fingers for breakfast? Wow, I didn't realize I was so cool because I've had different food for breakfast that isn't a breakfast food? Nice. Normal girl excited about a new handbag and fresh maca lipstick. Me, excited about a new vein and a fresh jar of peanut butter. Yeah, but you being excited about a new vein and a fresh jar of peanut butter doesn't mean that you're not normal. You can be both of those things. Like, it's not, oh, you're either normal or you like a peanut butter because that's not normal. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Yeah, let's read a couple of wholesome comics, guys. I think that's enough for today. Oh my god, the quantum bears. I'm not sure why I look the way I look. Looks aren't really very important. Yeah, but easy for you to say. You look perfect. Yeah. Perfect like you. <laughs> Cute. And it says their Instagram do G E Luckig. I just followed them. By the way, if you want to follow me on Instagram, <laughs> feel free. What do you mean you don't accept expired coupons? Honk honk. <laughs> That's it. Let me see your manager. Honk. <laughs> what do you mean you're the manager? Honk honk honk. I run this place, okay? <laughs> now get out of here. Okay, that was so fun, guys. Thank you for joining me again. I really appreciate it. It's 11.13 at night right now, so I'm gonna go to bed, and I hope you had a good time. The comment of the day today goes to Bedazzled Misery. I would love a long video that isn't a compilation. Thank you for what you do and bringing us good laughs and wholesome memes on the daily. You're a real one. Oh, no, you're a real one. Thank you. But yeah, 100 I want to make a really long video. I also want to do a live stream on YouTube. But yeah, I just haven't quite figured out either of them yet. But I'll definitely do that. The long video might have to have a couple of different subreddits in it. That's the only thing because we might actually run out of posts. Unless like I just don't make a video on a certain subreddit for a few weeks. And then we just make a huge video. Yeah, maybe that's a better idea. Yeah, this needs to 
happen. That'd actually be so fun. Okay, guys, thank you again for all your support. It means so much to me. Make sure you have a beautiful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!